this setup is a Raspberry Pi 400, which is basically just a Raspberry Pi crammed into a keyboard. And I've also attached a gaming mouse. My biggest complaint about the Raspberry Pi 400 is it doesn't come with a trackpad, so you cannot use it just by itself with an operating system on it, unless you wanna just do command line only. I think you can actually find Raspberry Pi 400 still available, but the big disadvantage besides the lack of a trackpad is the fact that it doesn't support native Wi-Fi like capture or any of the monitor mode things you would wanna do for Wi-Fi hacking. So a lot of the other Raspberry Pis do. Uh, yeah. It's just that it is harder to find them right now. So I'm using an example that does not support Wi-Fi capture with the Nexmon driver, which typically allows anything even including the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W in order uh, to put itself into monitor mode and do some really interesting cool things. I'm going to be using an external wireless network adapter, as you mentioned, a lot of people will. So that way you can have any sort of Linux device that has a USB port and follow along provided that you can put that uh, wireless network adapter into monitor mode. Today, I'm going to be using a Panda Wireless. It's a POU 09. This I like because it is not subtle at all. I have been actually <laughs> almost kicked out of a uh, like a co-working space because I was using this plus another wireless network adapter that looked equally conspicuous. And some tech bros sitting next to me ratted me out for using too many wireless network adapters and thought I was up to some sort of hacking. So I actually had to talk to the person at the co-working space and explain myself over this thing. So if you are looking to go with a subtle option, this is not it. If you are looking for a dual band, meaning 2.4, gigahertz and five gigahertz wireless network adapter that has two antennas that you can also plug into like a directional antenna, like a parabolic grid or like, like a panel antenna in order to track devices down. This is absolutely it. The versatility of this tool I think is really great because you know it hits both the five gigahertz and the 2.4. People ask for that a lot. And it also has the ability to attach the directional antennas, which people also ask for all the time. So I would say this is probably one of my favorite like low cost, um, wireless network adapters that I would not really mind if it got smashed because it's very cheap. While I prefer Alpha Wireless for a lot of reasons, this is one that I use as like a kind of a throwaway device that I throw in my luggage so often that it's what I'm gonna be using today because the drivers are actually really good for it and it allows you to just kind of get started with a plug and play sort of deal. So I'm gonna plug it in. So it's plugged in, very subtle. Um, and I am using Manjaro. It's an Arch-based operating system that you can run on the Raspberry Pi if you want to completely stay out of the fight of whether Kali, Ubuntu, or Raspberry Pi OS are the best operating system for the Raspberry Pi. I hate that fight, so I decided to pick something that was like relatively obscure, but I find I actually love my experience with uh, Manjaro on a Raspberry Pi. It generally works pretty well uh, for all the things I need to do. I can run attacks on it when I'm doing simulations, and it tends to be very, very stable. The only thing is it is Arch-based, so the, the package manager is different. It's Pac-Man instead of like APT, uh, and there's a couple other things you need to get used to as well. Uh, Linux commands will work you know, pretty universally, uh, again, except for the installing commands for just about anything. And most of the tools I'm gonna to cover today are very easy to install. 